Okay, so getting back into our coverage over the dawn of X for X-Men comics, we're going to pick back up with X-Force number five. Now, this book is going to pick up where our last video left off at. Now, remember, at the end of X-Force number four, we had basically learned the name of the new evil organization that had assassinated Charles Xavier at the very beginning of this X-Force series, and their name is Zeno. Now, with that being said, Zeno was apparently attacking a new facility that Charles Xavier and the mutant race had placed in California. And so, of course, X-Force was on their way to stop Zeno from blowing up that new facility. The problem is, though, when Wolverine and Kid Omega and Domino were using one of the gates that could lead them over to that facility, Zeno blew up the gate and basically it killed Kid Omega and cut Wolverine in half because they were walking through the gate when Zeno blew up the gate that led over to that facility and Domino has stayed behind. Now, with Domino staying behind, she sees what had happened to Wolverine and Kid Omega. Wolverine has been cut in half and Kid Omega, well, he's basically dead. And so now you have Domino getting ready to find a new way to teleport herself over to that facility to get revenge for the death of Kid Omega and the supposed death of Wolverine and also get revenge for what Xeno has done to her in the past videos of X-Force. Now with the gate being destroyed that gives mutants the ability to teleport over to that facility, they need to find a different way to get over there so that Domino can get revenge for Kid Omega and Wolverine. Now with that being said, that is the moment you have Sage tell Domino that she does have a way and that way is Gateway. Gateway is a mutant who has the ability to teleport almost anything or anyone at a very far distance meaning that he is able to teleport Domino over to that facility so that she can get revenge against all those soldiers who have basically end up killing Kid Omega and almost killing Wolverine. Now here comes the big catcher though. Domino is not going to go by herself and the reason why I say that is because you have Forge going to join her. Now Forge is usually a mutant who has the ability to create almost anything with machines. That is his mutant ability. Him being able to work well with machines, it basically makes him Tony Stark. So if he ever loses his mutant gene, he'll be just a regular person. But either way, he has, he's going, he is, I am struggling right now. He's going to go with Domino over to that facility to help her take down all those soldiers that had killed Kid Omega and Wolverine. Now, the next part of this video is really just Domino and Forge arriving at the facility and them going crazy on these soldiers. I mean, they're just shooting bullets everywhere, cutting people up, blowing people up. They're finding different ways to kill all of these soldiers who had basically caused all the problems in this facility in the first place. Now, of course, you do have Forge being able to take the two halves of Wolverine and put him back together because with his healing factor, he's able to heal back up after his body has been cut in half so that he can help out Domino and Forge fight against these soldiers. And of course, with Wolverine being very angry about what had happened to him and Kid Omega, you know that he is going to go on a rampage and kill all of these soldiers off to get revenge for what they have done to this facility and also to him and Kid Omega. Now, you do have X-Force being able to leave one soldier alive, but with this one soldier being alive, you have Wolverine and Domino, especially Domino, because she was tortured at the very beginning of X-Force. She wants to go ahead and kill off this guy, but that is the moment you have Beast step in and say no. You will not kill this guy. And the reason why you will not kill this guy is because this guy can give us some very valuable information about Zeno and it could help us bring down Zeno. So you need to step down and not kill that person and bring him in. And for Domino, it's hard. She wants to go ahead and kill this person. But of course, she does listen to Beast and does not kill this man this time. 
Now, getting back over to the island of Kakoa, we actually do pick up with Beast and Jean Grey, basically interrogating the last guy that X-Force left alive so that they can get some kind of information out of him. And so with that being said, we actually do see Beast and Jean Grey being able to interrogate this guy to get some kind of information. And you have him basically say that him and his group they only did this for money. There was no political view involved at all, meaning that they didn't do this as a way to just to hurt mutants. They did this as a way to make some money. Now, with that being said, you have Beast continue to question him because Beast doesn't truly believe that this was just done for money, that Zeno did not just attack Krakoa just for money. There has to be some kind of political reasoning behind their last few attacks. And that is the moment you had this guy basically say that with the mutant race making their own mutant island and with them changing so many things in the world that right now they're no longer just bottom feeders. Now they're at the very top and with them being at the very top, they need to get used to being attacked like a person or a company or a nation that is on top because everyone else is going to come after them now just to take their spot because the mutant race is on top right now with all the changes they have made in the world. And so then you have Jean Grey use her powers as a way to learn more about what this guy knows. And he does have an image of the leader of Zeno. And with that image, Jean Grey now knows who are they gonna go after now? Somebody with a peacock tattoo. And this is where we are going to end today's comic book video. So with that being said, please leave me a like down below and subscribe. Also, if you have any suggestions on books I should read, well, please let me know in the comments below because you never know, your suggestion could be a future video down the road. But I do hope you enjoy today's comic book video. Later, guys.